So good morning. Oh, you can only see half my head, but okay, sorry. Let's lift it up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, good morning, good morning. It's Sunday morning decant time. So here all on my teeth, nothing, okay. Sunday morning decant time. And I thought I would, you know, hang out, you know, let people hang out with me, get some company while I do my work. It's like my little job on Sunday mornings. I did some of it yesterday. Hey, Pat. I did some of it yesterday. So, and I figured I could do this and then we could talk about the fragrances that I'm decanting at the same time. Hi, Miffy. I could like kill two birds with one stone, have like a nice little perfume conversation, plus decan at the same time. So, right now I have a decan sale. It's by five decans and then you can get two free um, that are $10 or under. So I got a few people that have ordered. And so now I'm trying to get, and you know, Sunday is my day to get them out. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Why, why my eyes look like this? Okay. I'm going to have to go. So first up right now, well, let me see what I've already done. I decanted some wild cherry. This is my favorite bright what cherry this actually like is perfect if you are one of them layering people good to layer with stuff it's just really bright shiny uh uh what is that called cherry and then the because i'm on mancera so what i do is i try to group stuff together so i always wind up with a lot of manceras this is mancera cocoa vanille so i'm uh this one is coconut and vanilla this one smells so good mm. It's nice and strong, stays on you long. And now, hi, Kimmy. Hi. So if you, you know, shameless plug, if you would like to get some. What the hell? I, I'm looking. I need to wash my face. Okay, but anyway. Wild Python. So these are the last ones I can do because I really need to buy a new bottle. I've actually given out a lot, like gifts to people, you know, just to try and everything. And I've used up a so I'm gonna wind up buying another bottle for me and another bottle to decant. That's on my list of things. Uh, yeah, because this bottle is almost done, and I cannot not have wild python. If you don't know, now you know, because it's wild motherfucking python. All right, so let me decant these. These last so far. So thank y'all. Hey Marilyn. Hi Kimmy. So, yep. So, until I go buy me some new bottles, there will be no sales of Wild Python. And then once I do, I will open up the sales again. Because apparently everybody want to try Wild Motherfucking Python now. I don't know why. I don't know who talked it up like this. <laughs> hey, Didi. I don't know who talked up this wild python like this, but now every woman wants to have, it. even though. Okay. Everybody wants to have it, girl. So I am almost done with this bottle. So like I said, I'm going to buy a new bottle. And then I'll have, this light on my head is terrible. And then I look like I got some dark circles under my eyes, which it is in this mascara, just so y'all know. That's some residual mascara that's still sitting there like, ha, 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 you didn't get me off last night. Because right now I'm looking like I got punched in the eye. What y'all doing up so early? I know what I'm doing up on a Sunday. What y'all doing up? So your wild python, yes. Every time, whenever I spray this to do the decants, I be like, damn, you are so good. You smell so good. So good. Mm, mm, mm. And so here are the ones that I use. So for five mils, I only do five mils because I ain't trying to keep up with all that other stuff. Two mils. 
I bless the, um, yeah, I'm always up early too. Um, I bless the people who can do like, who sell decants and they do different sizes and they do all that other stuff. I'm basic, I'm basic. You get this and that's it, five meals. You know, and I feel like five meals is a good way to try something out. And it, you know, especially if it's something expensive, and you might not want to pay for the whole bottle, but you want to be able to wear it every once in a while. And then you can buy another one. Or then, no, uh, you went to bed too early. Wild Python, heck yeah, I'm on the Mancera trail right now. So what I'm doing right now, Pat, Pat is I am decanting a bunch of Manceras, and then I'll start on the next stuff. Because what I try to do is um, do a bunch, like these are because I'm doing labels. So I do those and then I go through and start pulling the other things. And um, so you y'all gonna see a bunch because it's a I have a lot of orders today. Because of me doing that sale, you know, the sale is till Monday, just in case somebody watches be like, oh, what's that about? The sale is until Monday. So you can get five buy five um decants and you'll get two, you can get two free that are ten dollars or under. And all the, just FYI, the man series are $10. So it kind of works out. So if you want to try a bunch of man series, you can do this. Right, yeah, I know, Miffy, you up. I'm not complicated. <laughs> I can be, though. It's so funny, because I was talking to a friend of mine and she was saying, you're a terrible, you know, I, I, people, because people always act like they can't buy me stuff. But like presents. I'm like, just don't buy me the stuff that I buy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't buy me perfume. We are, we've we established that. You can't buy me makeup. We know this. You know, don't. You can buy me a purse. I tell her, I say, you can always buy me a purse. I like purses. If it's a cute purse, I ain't tripping on like, oh, it's not designer and all that other bullshit. If it's a cute little style, I'm going to rock it. Hey, Leah. So yeah, it's just like, hey, my lipstick ladies. Hey, my lipstick ladies. That is so wild to me to see that. And every time, let me, let me thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. So yeah, I'm filling these up. So this is Wild Python. And then we'll go on to the next one in a second. We'll go on to the next one in a second, um, which is going to be, oh, I know what I'm doing. And then what I do is to make sure I keep up with everything. I do like little baggies with their decants so I know, okay, I've filled their decant and tag them off so I know what I'm doing. Cause honey, honey, honey. And I must say, looking at the um, things that people ordered, it's a really good list. I mean, it's like people really like order some really good stuff. I'm like, okay, okay, y'all. You know, cause usually I get almost, I always get similar things. You know, I get a lot of Manceras that people order um, and some other things that people order, you know, but I like it when people like try some new stuff. Let's like get some new stuff, get some new, new in your life. Now, the only thing with this is that you see where I'm sitting at and then my perfumes are over there. So I'm gonna go back and forth. That's number one. Number two, then that means I gotta put all these damn things back when I'm done with them. That is like the tragedy of my life sometimes. And actually for people, um, you see, there you go. That's why don't blind buy, don't be me. Hey, Christy, just like last Sunday. Okay, oh shoot, I done just sprayed it all over myself. Not that, not that smelling like wild python is a bad thing. But I got a lot of decans to do. So y'all gonna be here for a while. Or as long as I keep y'all on here. Because I think I got about close to 40 that we're doing today. Yeah, so this is Man Sarah's Wild, Wild Motherfucking Python. You going out today, Christy? You going to church or something? Or are you just getting ready for your day? I was sitting here watching Luther and I was like, you about to get caught up in Luther now. Hey, hey, Dre, you're not here, but you are here. You, yes, yeah, a lot. Um, 
but i'm telling you it's a good deal so that's why people are getting on it this is a good deal if you want to try some stuff what did i just do top okay so that was so that was wild motherfucking python let me write let me get those ready for it do those right quick Yeah, I'm not that decanter that does like um, three different sizes. I got one size. I can, I can only make that happen. I can't be doing all 17 different things. Why are you up? Uh, how can you purchase some? Um, reach out to me on either IG or my email, which is not on here on this one right at this moment. But if you go on to any of my older email, um, Aging Gorgeously 2017. So you can hit me on email on IG, Lulu467, or you can send me an a email for the list. And just say, hey, hey, hey. If I wasn't on a uh, Right, what are you doing? I bet you he ain't never been, he didn't go to sleep yet. See, that's the thing. I bet you dreaming up. He been sitting up here doing stuff, right? What, what, what rabbit hole did you go down? It's so easy to go down a rabbit hole on YouTube. And then you'll be stuck watching. I knew your ass didn't go to sleep. How did I know that? I don't know, because I'm psychic like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm psychic like that. And eating leftovers, you know, listen, I'll be getting my, my bowl of leftovers in a minute. My turkey, my dressing, my cranberry sauce, my cranberry, uh, okay, so wild pythons, who's getting this? Let me put this in their stuff. Natasha. Okay. okay Natasha. Right, you gotta do turkey dressing and mac and cheese. You got to have that extra turkey bacon, turkey bacon. Did I just say turkey bacon? Turkey dressing and mac and cheese, child. That's that's the life. The funny thing is, is like people are talking about that, but I honestly don't make a lot of mac and, macaroni and cheese during the year. It's like I save it, so that's why I'm so happy when I make it because I'm not one of them people who I'm always making it. It's like. You know, here and there, I'll make it. Right. Oh, okay. First year, you didn't cook. What'd you do? Did you go out? Did you go out and eat? So let me... Listen, y'all better get these uh, reusable notebooks. This is the fucking life. I'm telling y'all. I gotta put these in. Mm -hmm. This is the damn life. Right? Because you know I don't fuck with no turkey bacon. That is not my life. That is not my ministry. It's some damn turkey bacon. Not my ministry. See, ooh, and cherry wood smoked bacon. Yes, that sounds awesome. That sounds good. That sounds good. Let me drink some water. I'm so thirsty. First thing in the morning, I drink 32 ounces. Um, mm -mm. Let me tell you how you eat turkey bacon. For real. Cook it in bacon fat. The shit is fired in. Now, of course, it's not healthy. But if you want to eat some turkey bacon, cook it in bacon fat. I'm just telling you. Cooking in some cook it in some bacon fat. I'm just telling you, a little bacon fat fat makes all the difference. I told people I do that. They're like, oh my God. I said, listen, I'm not gonna make you if I'm making turkey bacon for other people, you know. Oh, this is your first time you made a turkey. I'm gonna tell you like my secret to making turkey. I have a secret web, I have a secret way. It's always juicy, it's always full of flavor. So here's what you do. That's the way I make my turkey every year. For, right, okay. Um, Jardine Exclusive. I love Jardine Exclusive. Uh, yeah, I don't do thermometers too much. 
Because mm -mm. all you got to do, the trick to knowing when your turkey is done is when the juices run clear. When the juice come out clear, you good. And plus, here's the trick. Okay, it's like 15 minutes for every pound. That actually works and then add maybe 30 minutes on just to be on top of it. So the way I make a uh, turkey is I do a, like I do, I did like, I usually do about 20 pound turkeys because I always have a bunch of people. So I do two sticks of butter, uh, I do two sticks of butter a cup of olive oil <clears throat> so i soften the butter and then i add the olive oil mix that all up right um and then i add my spices to that um so i'll do whatever my spices i do sage you know sage garlic powder um a little onion powder um i use tony chachers i love tony chachers so it's kind of like a cajun -y vibe mix that all up together <clears throat> And then what you do is you separate the skin at the breast. So you get into, so you open up that skin at the breast area and around the um, the legs, the drumsticks. And then you just take it spoonfuls of it and you shove it in. You shove this mixture in and you just rub it, massage it all and push it back into, you know, as you open it up that skin, do that and then put it all over the top and then baste it with that while you while you cooking it. Shh, just fine. Always moist, always moist. Because you've put, because you got that olive oil. So like people brine and do all that shit for hours. I don't do none of that. I make this up every year. Stick it inside that, stick it inside of the, the underneath the skin. Boom, it's done. because you're seasoning inside the chicken, the turkey, you know, the meat is getting seasoned, everything, and it's getting moist. So that's what I do. And y'all know I don't give away too many of my secrets, but that's one of my secrets I give y'all. Somebody said, make, give soup recipes. I might be nice to my members and get them one good soup recipe. Cause, uh, yes, honey, it's got to be seasoned for the gods, child. You got to season it for the gods. A little smoked paprika, a little Tony Chachers. Um, yeah, my stuff, my stuff comes out good every year. And my son is so ignorant. He came over, he was like, this is the best turkey ever. I was like, shut up, boy. You've been eating this turkey for 20 years. I think this is the best you ever made. I was like, really? Yes, I will give y'all one soup recipe. It won't be my lemon ginger cream of chicken rice because that's my signature that I sell. That's my signature. But I will, you know, I should talk about how to just to make a quick soup. Oh, soul seasoning. Okay, okay. I like soul seasoning. Yes. I like that one too. Okay, okay, we doing it. So first thing in the morning, if y'all have not done anything, go on and get you 32 ounces of warm. If you got lemons, lemon water. Oh, whole onion in the cabinet. All right. Yeah. You did fried chicken. Oh, I got an air fryer, y'all. It's at the, my box. I gotta go pick it up. Yes. Drink your water because you've got to drink your water. If you start out your day with at least 32 ounces, it really starts your hydration process. Really does. I try to drink at least three cup big, you know, things of water every day. Because when I don't, I feel it. Oh my God, Jardine Exclusive is so pretty. Jardine Exclusive is one of those all year round florals. Because it's got enough, it's got enough strength, it's got enough oomph to it that it that it can you can wear it in the winter time when it's cold outside. Cause I know not everybody likes um, you know, gourmands like all of us who want to smell like a snack. You know, we all trying to smell like somebody dessert and shit. But not everybody wants to smell like a snack. So if you like florals, this is a really good floral. Cause me, I want to smell like somebody's snack. I want to smell like you could snack on me. And you can smack on me. Just smack on my black ass. 
Okay, there we go. Done with that. Yeah, I drink. But I I don't I drink a lot of water. Oh, and I've been like that for years. So this isn't anything new for me. Um, because I don't really drink. Um but I don't because I don't drink a lot of uh pop or anything. I rarely drink pop. I I drink some juice, um, but not a lot. Which is just But so I've been a, a water drinker before it was cool. So I got a couple of dollars to buy me some fragrance. Right. Oh, may, baby. Hi, Shanna. You will see the difference when you do not drink your water. Your body will dehydrate right around you. Your skin will be dehydrating. Your hair will be crispy and crunchy. Um, yeah, you really need to. So people, I mean, if you don't really drink a lot of water, and once you start drinking water, you're going to be amazed with yourself. You're going to be like, oh, my God, is this what I've been missing? Baby, because my, 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 I can always tell because I can always say my hands dry out so bad. You know what I'm saying? Yes, peanut brittle. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> you can tell I'm hungry. I'm like, peanut brittle. Ooh, that sounds good as hell right now. I could do some peanut brittle. Where the peanut brittle at? Damn it, I need some peanut brittle now. Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Come, Dre. Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. For making me think about some damn. <laughs> All right, next up. Baby, cashew brittle. Okay, now let's just talk about brittle. Have you ever had Amish brittle? Have you ever had the Amish brittle? Right? Right, that's what I'm saying, Shanna. Have you had the Amish brittle? Oh my God. I'm gonna go find something and I'm gonna talk till you come back, Dre. Cause once you have the Amish brittle, that shit will fuck you up for brittle for your whole entire life. That shit is so good. Oh my God. It just, mm, that sh mm, mm. I'm just here to say, that's all I got to say. Uh, shit is so good. Okay, one black vanilla. Oh, two black vanillas. Okay. No, have you had Amish butter? Amish butter. I'm, t I'm, uh, um, have you had the Amish butter? So it'll fuck your whole world around. It'll fuck your whole world up to butter. And I love, you know, I mean, Amish butter is that butter that you have for that for you when you eat bread and shit. You know. Oh. Amish butter. Do yourself a favor. Next up is black vanilla. Black vanilla by Mancera. We're gonna be going through a lot of perfume scents today. Oh, for me though, this is more floral than vanilla. It, the vanilla, it finally gets vanilla in the dry down, but the first thing that comes off the top for me is the florals, and I love it. High peppermint. It depends on what you're getting. Um, they all there's you know the price points are anywhere from I have some from seven dollars and fifty cents up to twenty two dollars. So it just depends on what you want. You have to get the list and then you can see what I have and what you're interested in. So yeah, I'm about to I'm about to buy me a couple of per perfumes because it's my invoice. So I said, let me just go on and buy something that I want. But then I'm going back and forth. I'm so conflicted. Right. Um, I'm so conflicted on what I want to buy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like I have so many. So I'm like, should I buy a Mancera or two? Or should I buy some other stuff? It's like I'm always buying Manceras. So I'm thinking I'm going to buy something different. So we're going to do black vanilla, a couple of these. I'm gonna I'm hit you. Um, 
Uh, Dre, send me the link because I'm gonna need. Maybe I'll just buy two of those for that and call it a day. Don't play with me. I need to check Bimbo and see what he got going on. Yeah, yeah. Perfume spot. <gasps> oh, so which ones did you get? I know you got wild python. What's the other one that you got? You're conflicted on pearl or roses vanille or black vanilla. <laughs> Um, well, okay, they're also different depending on what you want. You know, pearl is just that beautiful rose fig. Um, oh, because you told me you got wild python. That's how I know your business. I don't know your business. I ain't in your pocket like that, dude. Yeah, I wish I could have because I need another bottle. Bad. I'm about to go check. Right. I'm like, you said that shit the other day. I got wild python for $55. I was like, fuck you. Okay, never mind. Because I need a new bottle. Bad. Um, Hindu Kush, you finally got it. I know you've been trying. You've been debating Hindu Kush. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't want it. I try to, you know, I lean toward the little girly man Sarah's. So now let's talk, Leah, between Black Vanilla, Roses Vanille, and um, Pearl. Are those the ones that you got for me? Because I know you got an order recently. Girl, I don't know. They all so different. I personally would start with black vanilla for a full bottle i think i would do black vanilla first and then it'll be a toss-up between pearl and roses vanille because they're so different did we just say to say it? okay jory who you think you think you mean that fuck you what you try you trying to steal my thunder right i see i like pearl pearl is not i ate Ooh, lemon mint is aight. <laughs> Pearl is a beautiful fig rose, but I love fig. So, and it's got that, it's got a little woodiness, but I love the fig on the dry down in the rose. Gives me that sweet fig. <laughs> right? It's aight. However, pearl is not for everybody. I think pearl should people should try pearl because of the woodiness and the fig part of, you know, the fig woodiness and the fig. See, I love fig. I love the smell of fig. And I like it better. Uh, you don't like carnival? I still ain't tried carnival flower. I don't like philosophers. I don't like philosophers. By dip, I mean, you know, by diptyque. This smell, it just smell like some branches. It smell like branches. Like, no, thank you. I don't need that. I don't need that. It do. It smell like branches and leaves. Like you went outside and you was and you got some branches and some leaves and then finally you get some fig toward the end. People are like it's the most realistic. I don't need to smell like branches and and leaves. I don't need to do that. So let me tell y'all this, and I'm just letting y'all know. Pray there ain't no ram. Right? Yes, it's it's green in the beginning, but then it becomes this beautiful fig and rose. Thank you, Shanna Ma. Thank you. It's just. And I probably like it so much because years ago I made a fragrance 
with fig and rose. But anyway, um, what's that black vanilla? So, <laughs> two, yeah. And so, let me see what else. Um, yeah, flat. Uh, everyone, it smells so good. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Um, let me tell y'all what I, I was coming up on Saturday and ugh, I might be ignorant and let y'all watch it with me. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all tell me if y'all want me to do this. So Scent Explore is on the virtual one is this week, right? I mean, I guess they get me, they get me for copyright. Never mind. <laughs> Cause I was going to put it online. <laughs> We can, oh, maybe, maybe my members, we can watch it together. So anyway, they're doing Scent Explore, um, which is, you know, they do it, it's like, it's virtual this year, but it's, uh, you know, it's got like so, a lot of the YouTubers, to, I know JC is going to be, Justin's going to be on there. You know, a few of them are going to be on, I think, you know, whatever. And then some of the, you know, brands. Um, uh, I don't know. It hasn't happened yet. I think you still get tickets. It's like $29 to do it, you know, and it's online. Now, however, they say like the first thousand was going to get something like a, like a thing. And I was in the first thousand. I know because it said I was. So I'm waiting to see, am I actually going to get, um, uh, like a, you know, a goodie bag. If I don't, y'all know I'm ignorant enough to tell y'all, right? I know I need to see a goody fucking bag this week. That's all I'm saying. And I'm, cause I, I gotta check, cause I know I did, I mean, I signed up for this weeks ago. I kind of forgot about it. Um, all I know is if I don't get a, if I don't see a goodie bag come this way, I'ma talk shit. Shit. I'm just letting y'all know. Let me talk shit. Big shit. Because I know they said for like the first thousand or something. And we know it's going to be a, it's a bunch of samples. That's fine. As long as it's some like good samples, I'm cool. But it's like I haven't gotten any like reminders. Uh, yeah, I would like my first time not to be virtual. But since whoosh, couldn't do that. Uh, yeah, well then when they go, when they do it for, for real, we going, right? That's all that's happening. We just going when they do it. I know I said two, two people. Where's the other person? Black Vanilla. Where's Black Vanilla? Black Vanilla. Oh, I, oh, I snatched it out. Hell yeah, we going. We going. Be like, hey. Because I would have gone for real anyway this year. Because I seen it and I was like, oh, I want to go to that. But we couldn't. Okay, Gold Prestigium. Oh, this is a new love for me, y'all. I got to do my love at my first, love at first sniff, a new a new batch. Because I got new stuff I just fell in love with. First time I smelled this bitch right here. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Gold Prestigium, man. Gold Prestigium. And this is, don't nobody really talk about this. Don't nobody really talk about Gold Prestigium. But <laughs> it's so beautiful. Somebody asked me to give them like some, to do a, a set of stuff that I just, I picked it out. So I picked out seven for people. And I was like, so what you like? What you want me to do? So this person said, seven that you would want to take on a desert island with you. Gold Prestigium was one of them. This is such a beautiful, just, just everyday sexy. Yeah, I think so too. They need to do more bottles like this and Musky Garden. They really do. They need to, you know, amp up their little bottles. How many Manceros do I own? That's a good question. I don't know anymore. Um, Pat, I did get rid of two. I've gotten rid of two. I got rid of Indian Dream and... Sicily, and the reason why is because they just didn't perform on me. Not that they weren't beautiful scents, they just didn't. 
for me to get Indian Dream to smell, you could smell it on me. I was doing 15 sprays. That don't make no damn sense. I mean, it just, and it was, it just didn't last on me. Sicily doesn't last. Sicily is beautiful. It's a really pretty um, summer fragrance, but it just don't last. Um, so now I said all that to say, then um, I bought some more, I don't know, around 20. <laughs> Probably around 20 at this point. That's why I said I could like, maybe I could just, you know, slow down. Oh no, I know I got more than that. Cause when I did the, when I did my Mancera collection, I had about 15 and I have bought more since then. So it's probably around 20. Like with me getting rid of some, I probably bought seven more since. Hey, Emmy. Um, so I bought seven more since then. So that's how I got up to about 20. I'm trying. Right, right. I recluttered. I am so not the declutter person. Um, yeah, I mean, I would right reclutter after the declutter, right? Because see, the thing for me is, I'm not decluttering, saying I have too much. I'm saying I don't like the shit, so let me go and get rid of it. And if somebody, wait a minute, and somebody was supposed to be buying Indian Dream, and if they don't, it's going back on my decant list, and folks can try it again. And I could have kept Sicily and just sold it off. Like I'm going to do Ooh Lemon Mint. But I'm trying to tell people, like, if you want to get some decants, because decants is a great gift. Let's just be real. Um, right. Um, decanting is a great gift for somebody, especially if you don't know somebody's taste, but you want to give them some uh, fragrances. It's a good way to give them fragrances. And I do have quite a few that I say are good for men. You know, even though I'm a girly girl, I do have, you know, enough unisex that will work for men and women. All right. I had to think this through because I was like in a sports bra and I said, put on a t-shirt, Louise. You might get, you're thinking about going online. Let's put on a t-shirt. Let's just not, let's not, let's not do that. Let's not be that person on Zoom or something. So this is gold prestigium. Yeah. Don't be that girl. So gold prestigium, I'm telling you, is just one of those ones that it's it's got a little leather in it, a little floral, it's got a little oud in it. But the oud is so well blended. This is like one of those ouds for people who don't want to smell the oud, but they want that kind of oudy vibe. You know what I'm saying? They want some oud, but they don't want it strong. They don't want it skanky. They don't want it barnier. They don't want all the, any of those things, but they just want a little hint of oud. This is what Gold Prestigium has. Oh, and it smells so good. And it's kind of got... Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because, you know, I'll be thinking about that. I'm terrible at that call to action. I'm just talking. I just talk and it's like, hey, who? Oh. I'd be like, hey, hey. Okay. This one is out. But, um, so let's see. Speaking of roses, Vanille, let's get to roses, Vanille. All right, so next up is Roses Vanille. So go Prestigium goes to Latrice. So yeah, they have their own little baggies. So I can throw their stuff in here to remind me. And then I also have to, um, and then I always make samples. So I have a couple of things on samples. And the way I do samples, just for people who, if you ever buy from me, is I always send samples of things I don't sell, but I like. So like, you know, like some of my stuff is just so inexpensive. I'm not going to sit up here and try to decant it to you. Um, you're going to want to try it, Shanna. Um, so normally what I do is I do stuff like Casimir Show Card. Or I'll do like this one, Minadir Oud. I'm going to do some of this. So that's what I do for my samples. 
So it's always stuff that I don't put on the list, but I like, you know, because I feel like these are just so inexpensive. You should just sample them and then say, okay, you can get it. So let's go. Next up is the ever classic Roses Vanille. She's a beauty. She's that sweet rose, mm, sugared up rose. Now there is a hint of lemon in the beginning, just for the people, just just for the people in the back. Um, but you know, not everybody smells it. But here it is, roses vanilla. How many do I have to do? One. I think just one. Oh, a bunch of people want roses, barbaranza. I just noticed that. I got a few people getting my stuff. Roses, barbaranza is the shit. Okay, my bad. So yeah, Roses Vanille, you know, everybody knows this. This is, you know, Intense Cafe, d -Lots. I did a whole video on these, comparing them. This is the one without the coffee note. Oh, I should try this with one of hot, with one of my um, hot coffee ones. The espresso, the one that's like just straight espresso to me. Ooh, I wonder how that would go if I layered that with this. Ooh, baby. This would probably be the ultimate rose coffee scent. And I'm not a huge layerer, but that shit sounds good to me. It sounds good to me. But I think, um, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's in its bun right now. I could flip it out and make it cute. Cause I need to video today. Need to do some videoing later on, but I got a couple other things I need to do too. Um, you know, eight o'clock is lesson plan time for me. So I'll be writing lesson plans up. I don't even remember what week I'm in. I'm so, I'm so out of it. I'm so lost on this. It's like, Okay. Then I need to shift some stuff. Oh my goodness. The life of the life. But yeah, Roses Vanille. This is classic. This is, you know, this is like classic sugared rose. You want a nice sugared rose, get you some Roses Vanille. Um, my hair was so black. <laughs> Honey, that was the lighting. My hair is not that black. You can see it now. Don't you hate when you're doing this decanting and you spray yourself? So now I just got roses vanilla all over me too. So I got wild python. I got a, good, I got a little roses vanilla on me. Chow, chow, chow. Okay, there we go. Roses Vanille. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I think I might do this a lot of, if I have like a bunch of stuff to decan on Sunday mornings. I'll just come on and we'll just chit chat in the morning. Keeps me company. Keep me company while I'm doing it. All right. Almost done. Your goal is to finish. I ain't got that goal, Leah. You are better than me. Hi, Jackie. Yes, yes, I'm multitasking. I am, you know, we hanging out. Roses, Vanilla. Oh, it's called Kelly. Is Kelly on here? I thought I saw her. Maybe I didn't. I'm working on hers right now. Right. I ain't even gonna say I'm gonna do that. I ain't even gonna lie to myself to say that. Okay, and then we got, oh, damn. I was supposed to do two gold prestigium. I'm glad I don't look. See, this is what happens when you don't look. Listen, anybody who has a large perfume collection, decants are your way to go for Christmas presents. Decans is the way to go for Christmas presents, I'm telling you. Decans. 
decans. Decans are the way to go. I promise you I'm about to buy some really pretty decanters. The eight mils. I'm going to need you to finish Fan Defendi. Because you've been trying to finish that thing for the last three months. You've been trying to finish that shit for the last three months. Right? Um, <laughs> so I'm going to need you to finish it. You got, to, you got a few weeks to do. is not that bad uh, I think right now I think right now I have a little bit over 200 but I'm gonna declutter a few I have a little bit over 200 because I have never put in, here's the thing, I've never put in my ganache ones, so I gotta set them up on my database. But at this moment, I'm at about 200. Because I have to put a few more, I have some more to put in my database. So they, it just happens, I don't know how it happened. It just did. I'm all about the I'm all about the the inexpensive. So, I mean, I can honestly and and the thing is is I'm really looking at it from a the standpoint I do do I love Manstair, so I buy those all the time. But I'm also making sure that oh yeah, it creeps up. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna declutter a few more. Um, some I've I've actually decluttered some. I just um. The only reason why I know I have a standing, I always know pretty much how many I have is because I have a database of my own that I've created and it helps me with doing videos. So I have this database, which I need to put these new ones in that I have. So I have a database and so that way I can um, keep up with things. So I'm able to look up notes. I'm able to look up the, you know, what groups they're in, what type of fragrances they're in, what accords they have. So anything I want to look up on them, pretty much, I know. Yep. Oh, so you finally got it. So you're starting to put them in? Right. So did you keep all the classifications that I had in there? Because all you have to do is just add in. Because all you got to do is just add columns in when you need them. Because that's what I do. Like when I see, when I get a new something, it's like, oh, let me add this column in. Especially, um, oh, and another bond number. Which bond number nine did you get? Yeah. Oh, did you? See, I, I like mine just like that. But boy, you should have kept them all. As much as you have, you... Yeah, well, I had the panes, the, it should have came down. Yours didn't come down because I have the side and the top where you can just always see them. Gold Coast, um, how do you get it? That's, it's my, uh, it's my actual one that I created, Pat. So it's just, it's one that I have on Google Sheets. Um, if you want it, just email me. I can send you a copy of it. You just have to, I can send you a copy and then you just have to like, you know, erase all my shit out and put your stuff in. It's not quite as comprehensive as I, I would like it to be, but yeah. But no, so I mean, it really does help me with doing things. <laughs> Excuse me. So since I started it, since I have it, it really makes it easy. Um yeah yeah and that's the thing is by doing this it just allows me um to 
be able to see what I have, you know? And so like, I can tell you, like somebody asked me, how many ooths do you have? How many, how many verses do you, um, right? Yeah. See, I need to add, I think I just added leather to it because I was like, you know, you got a lot of leather fragrances. So I think I just did. Right. And that's why, I, and that's what you have. That's why I do it because when I started doing, I was like, okay, because what happened was for me was I was trying to do something, you know, like I wanted to look at my oriental florals and I was like, okay, which ones are they? No, it started because I was looking at notes and I was trying to find all my rows. Uh, um, and yes, yes, I love me so, and my tall's getting into there too. All right. Velvet vanilla, velvet vanilla, one, two. Oh, I did hers. Okay. Velvet Vanilla. This is that bubble gold. Yes. Yes, they are. Um, this is tuberose. And it's like a bubblegum tuberose. Very tuberose vanilla. People love it. Um, it can be super sweet, though. This is a super sweet one. Word of it, caution because it is very super sweet. Um, I don't wear it a lot because of that, because it is super duper sweet, super duper sweet. So, but it's so it's a true bubblegum. Like the first time I put it on, and B was in my room, and she was like, That's my like, she was like, That's my like bubblegum. I don't no, you can't no, this stuff is too strong. For spring and summer this is strictly cold weather because it's so damn strong this is too uh -uh, it's too sweet too strong mm -mm. i'll mess with this at that time of year child mm -mm. but it's really good i don't think so Cause it's so it's so sweet. Oh, not them. Oh, you talking about the other one? Yeah, this is definitely follow ones. Um, I'm still debating if I'm getting Ubani. Cause I love Mancera's. I'm starting to buy a few more Montals. See, that's why I'm having this problem with what I'm buying right now. Because there's a few. There's a, a Montal I want to get. I want to get Oud Orchid by Mancera. But I'm like, can I wait on those and get something different? Can I go? Because I, because then there's some other stuff that I'm looking at. I don't know. I'm so confused. You know, I, I got to, I'm trying to keep myself on budget. You know, I'm trying to keep myself on my budget and not overspend. So that's, that's where the problem comes in. It's like, okay, so what can you get? What can you get? So I'm going back and forth on some stuff. Because, you know, it's like your list is ever changing and always growing, you know. So it's like, okay. But I think I'm going to wait on Uvani probably till January if it's still around. And I'm, I'm becoming more pragmatic with myself. I'm starting to feel like I'm becoming like right right yeah see I'm kind of vibing on amber I still love me a good oud um vanilla is like van right vanilla and bergamot and everything so, so you wind up with a lot of vanilla but it's like you want those different vanillas you know so I am becoming a little more pragmatic. But when I buy something, I want it to be like really interesting. I want it to be like, yes, child. Like, you know, like Magnificat by V Canto. Um, and it's gotta be a decent price. You know, it's gotta be a decent price, you know, because my coins ain't that, that deep. You know, I can't be running out and buying the fragrance Dubois. I can't be buying all that shit, you know, and I just have to be honest with myself. Um, I can buy Emma Watch because I can usually find that on a deal. But the rest of that shit, had to be honest with myself. It's like, bitch, you can't afford that. And it's like, you know what, bitch, you right. I had to have a long talk. I had to have a serious talk with myself, you know. I had to have a, I had to have a serious talk with myself. It was like, ho, 
You can't afford that. You shut. And I said, "Ho, oh, you right. Ho, oh, you right. You are absolutely right. So I said, slow, slow your roll, slow your roll, slow your roll. And I ain't going to say that I won't spend $200 on a bottle. I will, but I can't buy $200 bottles all the time. I can buy them here and there. Here and there. Yes, I have Indian Dream. Somebody was supposed to buy it, but they didn't. So I'm about to put it back on the list. Somebody, you know. So, yeah, it's about to get right back on the decant list. Hey, Anisha. Am I working on yours? Oh, no, you already got your stuff. Did you get your stuff from me? Anisha, did you get your stuff? I know I sent it. Yeah, we all had them conversations like, oh, slow your roll. Slow your roll. You can't do it all. Yeah, um, am I decanting it? Indian Dream? Mm, if I put it back on the decant list. Somebody was supposed to purchase it. They didn't. I've been holding it forever. It's about to go back home. Because like I said, it's a, it's a beautiful scent. On me, it just doesn't last. However, I think it's beautiful. It's kind of got this like in, Indian incense vibe to it. I really like it. So I'm about to put it back on. It's about to go back on. Then after I do all this decant, then I got to put it back, you know, get it ready for shipping. You know what? That's why, real talk, that's why I'm not sending things priority. I just make sure I have a tracking number. And if you send out things, I would suggest, no, if you don't have to pay for priority, don't. Because priority don't make sense. Because priority comes now at the same time as if you do a regular, if you just do it regular. As long as you do it first class. Because I was like, what? You kidding me, right? They were like, no, we're not kidding you. I was like, oh, okay. And, you know, I have these whole conversations with myself. The, you know, ho, I talk to my, you know, ho. Hey, ho, what's up? <laughs> it's like, hey, ho, what's up? How you doing? And that's what I had to tell myself. Mm -mm. All righty, there we go. Yeah, because it was like you, because when you look at the tracking information, first class, and I pay for priority. It has the same fucking time day. It'll be like, oh yeah, it'll come. So what's the point of doing priority now? You know, because they use the COVID is you know slow down everything. And I'm not saying that they should, you know, it might not slow it down, but if it's slowing down like that, okay, well then I don't need to be paying for that like that. No, just like that. All right, the velvet vanillas are out. Right, because I just be like, I mean, because I have literally paid for priority and then paid for something for first class and saw the same date on the damn tracking number. I'm confused. How come first class, you know, priority, mm -hmm. I'm paying this extra. I'm paying all this extra for priority to get it there in two days, supposedly, but it ain't gonna get there for four days? Fuck you, I might as well just go first class. That is what I have learned. All right, so here we go. Velvet, vanilla. And I have learned that lesson. I'm like, kiss my ass, UPS, USPS. Well, you know what I got? I got a, um, a sample of Layton by um, Parfums de Marley. What the hell do with it? 
And then I got an oh, and I got this stuff. I don't know who this is. This is Afnan Tribute. I am terrible with samples. I am terrible with samples. I try to do the sample thing and you know try out some samples and everything, but I am terrible with samples because it's like you buying so much yourself that I just be like, oh shit, I gotta try this out now. So I am trying to catch up on my samples. Dang, Miss Kelly got a lot going on here. Natasha Francine. Um, well, I have a fan on and I always have my window open in this room anyway, um, mainly because I got project heat so it can get really hot in here. So I always keep this window open in the winter time. So yes, I have air. I have a, the ceiling fan is on. And yes, the room does smell very strong of perfume. That it does. All right. The last one of the Manceras. Oud Exclusif. This is a ooh for your ass. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so it's it's very unisex. It's got it's definitely oud. Mm. Kind of got that um kind of almost rubbery vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? On a, when you smell it, but it smells so good. Oh, this is definitely. One that you can smell. Ooh, a man with this song. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I got lost in the sauce. I'm sorry. I got lost for a minute. I'm back. <laughs> I got lost for a minute. I'm back now. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, exclusive. Don't mind me. Um, but yeah, it's definitely got a very um, kind of leathery note to it. I don't even remember if it has leather in it, but it's definitely a really, really nice woody oud. You know, it's definitely got that kind of almost skanky, but not quite. Leah, you should see how many samples I have around here. I, 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 matter of fact, I lost some. Um, Rose has sent me some. Nelly has sent me some. Um, Helen has sent me a few. I've gotten quite a few. Um, Mina has sent me some. Somebody else sent me some. And then I have the ones that I got from um, uh, Mina. So I have a whole bunch of samples right now that I, and I've barely gone through them at all. So I am gonna, cause what I have planned, what I'm doing now is I have a, a note, a page where I'm trying to go through them and then, you know, actually say, oh, okay, I've gone through them now and seen what they look like. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm trying to like wear them, say, okay, do you want it? Do you, yes, no, yes, no. So I'm putting them on my skin, making a decision because my, my gain is your gain. Um, after I go through them all, I'm going to do a giveaway night. So I'm going to do a giveaway night and I'm just going to do like, um, you know, bundles. So it, I'm not going to say, oh, pick out what you want. I'm just going to take them all because I'm not going to keep wearing the samples. I never wear samples to that point. What's on my lips? Um, I do, you know, I do samples just to try them out. So I'll do like maybe one or two sprays. So they're pretty much full. Um, and so once I decide, okay, yes, no, do I like them? So then I'm just going to, um, you know, send them out. I'm just going to bundle them up, see how many I have, see how many bundles I'll do and just give them away. And I know, cause like, I know people will like resell their samples that people give them, but I'm not doing that. Um, no, nah. I'm just going to bundle them up and give them away. Damn it. I just sprayed this all over myself again. Cause I think it's a good, good, you know, it's a good giveaway and it's a way to share them. Cause I think they should go on to the next person 
to see if they want to try some of the stuff that I get. But I do know there is going to be me giving away some in September, in December. I was gonna do full bottles, like get like maybe for giveaways, get try to get a couple of full bottles that I like and give them away. But then I said no, because then I can give two people and then they can have a bunch to try. Because I think a bunch is better than one. You know what I'm saying? I know people like you know getting full bottles, and I like getting full bottles. Like if I'm in some shit, I want. But I was like, okay, so do you just go get a man Sarah um, and then give that one away, which I might still do. I'm, I'm debating. Because what I was thinking is about giving out like 10 of my favorites as a giveaway when I do my collections. Because I'll be doing um, a niche, I'll be doing designer and affordable together and then niche and luxury together. So I was thinking about pulling 10 from each of those and doing 10 five mil decants for somebody, you know, for people to try. What y'all think? Or should I just go on and do a full bottom? Help me, please, help me. Help me, please, help me. Okay, food exclusive. Okay, so now we have done all of the Manceros. And now we're gonna get into some other stuff. Yes, I got a couple of them out already, so I can do those right now. And then we will go over there and pull some more. Yes, I need those. Hello. Decans. Okay, see, I was like, it wasn't showing me nothing. Decans. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Decans would be nicer because then you can try a bunch of stuff. Like if I do 10, you know, 10 to try on the giveaway, then it's like better than just having one bottle because what if you don't really like the bottle? So, and then, but then I got to figure out how I can do stuff for overseas people because I can't send y'all decans. So, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to figure out something. Maybe I could just, um, uh, Yes, exactly. And that's my thought, Christy, is like, as opposed to me keeping all these samples around that I'm not going to wear again, you know, that's going to just sit here. Oh, she bought a lot of other stuff um, that I'm just not going to use anymore. Why not, you know, just pass them along as a giveaway? So that's what I think. I know I'm going to do that, but it's just, I just got to get through them all because... <laughs> It's maybe close to 40 or 50 of them. Okay. Next up is this one. Yep, okay, this one right here, because I got it out. It's at Libre de Ange, Dangerous Complicity. Oh. I fell in love with this one. This, this is pretty girl scent, scent. This is just pretty girl scent. You 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 want to feel pretty? Put on this. Put this on. She's gonna make you pretty. You're just gonna feel all pretty and dainty and. Oh. I don't know what that meant, but it, it is what it is. Well, I need to buy some more jasmine was too, because I gave Rose that bottle. So I need to get another bottle of Jasmine List. Oh, ooh, that was rough. But this is, yeah, Dangerous Complicity. It's a floral. It's got a little booziness to it. It's powdery. Okay, let me say this. It's powdery. It's kind of slightly powdery. Got a little booziness with some rum. But it's got a lot of beautiful florals in it. That's why I like it. It's just, it's like, I've been rocking. Let me show y'all. This is me wearing it since I got it. Now you see what I'm saying. I just bought, you know, I just got this recently. And yeah, I've been wearing the hell out of it. 
You know, now, no, you know what happens. We'll wear it a lot right there, and then we'll so, rotate. I need to go get me a tray, though. I'm, I'm going to get me a nice, pretty tray to pull out stuff and make sure I'm using it. <sighs> because you know we get caught up in the shiny pretty, the new shiny. What is this? Ita Lun. Um, Ita Libra, Ita Libra, the orange, dangerous complicity. Dangerous complicity. It's got a powderiness to it. Slight boozy, but it's a floral. Love it, love it, love it. Um, it was a blind buy, of course. Hi, Alicia. really pretty I mean like I wear and I just feel like I just it's girly it's just very girly very pretty very feminine very just oh, okay I'm gonna smell like a girl and I know people be like scent has no gender okay I'm sorry scent does have a gender and I and I'm sorry, people acting like people don't have genders now. Gender is just fluid. What? What? No, it really ain't that fluid, y'all. Now you might identify, but that don't make you. And it's cool. Hey, and if you say you admit, and listen, and I'm one to uh, respect anybody what they say they are. I'm pre I promise you, I don't give a fuck. If you say you're a girl, you're a girl to me. Hey, girl, I'm going to call you girl all day. And what I don't like is having to say they. Right. Right. Some things are too masculine smelling. Some things are too feminine. I'm just, just here to say that. Some things just vibe better on a woman's chemistry. And then some things vibe better on a man's chemistry. It's okay. I think, you know, I'm so tired of everything, everything having to be equal. It ain't. And it's okay. It's okay. Everything ain't got to be motherfucking equal. Because if it was going to be equal, then I'm going to need men to be able to carry a baby. Mm -hmm. Let's make this shit real equal. Have a period every month and carry a baby for nine months and deliver it. Then that's equality. But y'all don't do that. So, you know, and it's okay. You do your, you handle your shit. I handle mine. Come on now. Okay, I'm wrong for that. I know somebody going to get really offended by me. But that's just, you know. And not to say that some people do not identify as something right then go through menopause um that do not identify because i mean you see people like okay they should have been a girl or they should have been a boy that's fine but to act like oh gender is just it's just a construct shut the fuck up it is not a construct it is the reality we have different makeups men are made like this women are made like this if that wasn't the case what the fuck would we be doing then? We would be amoebas. We would all look the same. What the fuck? Sorry, y'all. I mean, and, and don't get, like I said, I mean, I'm not. But. I mean to say that. Oh no, there's no. It's a construct. What? Well, what? What should we call ourselves? Cause men, that, those. Some of y'all look one way. Y'all swinging something between. Here's the difference. Some of y'all swing between y'all legs. Some of us have holes between our legs. Big difference. Big difference. Uh, but I digress. I'm gonna offend somebody. They're gonna be like, "Did you hear what she said?" Oh my God! I can't believe she said that. Yes, I did. 
I sure fuck did. Some things I'm just not never gonna be PC about. Never gonna be PC about. I mean, it is. It's just the truth. And and it's okay to say that you identify because you don't feel like you're in the right body. Because I've seen some people and I've been like, no, they ain't in the right body. But to say that that doesn't that it doesn't exist is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And the beauty about life is we all different. Damn. And I ain't calling you they. Let me just say this. And if you identify something else, I'm calling you whatever that gender is. I cannot stand trying to say they about somebody. They did it. No. You you say you a boy, you a boy to me. Hey, you, hey, hey boy. That's what I'm gonna call you. <laughs> I'm so wrong for that. But I'm just being honest. If you identify as that, I respect your identity. And I'm going to call you that. I'm going to call you girl. Hey, girl. I'm going to call you guy. Hey, boy, what's up? You know, I'm just going to call you what you want to be. And I don't understand what's the problem with that. I'm not calling you they. You're not a, you're not a plural. They is a plural. That's a plural. All right, next up is the other one for Itat Libre, which is True Lust kind of similar to dangerous complicity but it's more powdery still has the rum in it but it's a little more powdery um i like dangerous complicity a little bit better than true lust but they were such good prices i bought them both okay sorry i went off on that i ain't calling you i'm calling you hey hey now that's what i'm gonna call hey you want me to call they hey And it's so funny because I've always been like that. I don't and if you if you hey girl, I'm gonna call you whatever you whatever you identify as. I think it's important to do that. And I'm and I'm totally accepting um unless of course you're Rachel Dolezal and you identify as a black woman. Whatever happened to old Rach? Where's Rachel at? She's still what? Right. See, that's what I'm saying, Jackie. I'm like, what? I'm not calling you there. I'm gonna call you, you know, she or he. That's what I'm gonna call you, she or he. So if you identify as a male, he. Hey, hey, boy, how, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, boy? If you identify as a girl, hey, girl. Ride one side, that's what you riding on with me. You ain't a that. You not both. You 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 just who you are. All right, true lust. Now I will say dangerous complicity does not smell like what you think it is based on the name. Like dangerous complicity sounds kind of um sounds like it's like um something that you know, like, oh, this is going to be like deep and dark and everything. It is not. So dangerous complicity is not like a, even true lust. True lust, it's like, you think, I, if I hear lust, I hear dangerous complicity. I'm looking for something. Oh, getting it. I'm thinking it's going to be a deep, dark fragrance. I'm going to be sitting here like, Yes. You know, it's, is it just me? Because, like, something's like Wild Python. I'm like, who comes up with these names sometimes? Um, who comes up with these names? You know, you being so edgy, so cute. And you, this is, it, It's like, you, who came up? Who came up with this name? You sound, this is stupid. This is a dumb name for this fragrance. I'm sorry. It really is. Then it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'm getting through. I'm getting through. I'm getting through. It's a liberty orange. True lust. Ooh, some of these people got some serious stuff. Is she? She probably trying to figure out how she probably gonna try to figure out how she gonna change herself. She's not since since black is over, she's gonna she's gonna make herself like, you know, 
Dominican, she's going to be Dominican in a minute or, you know, Cambodian. She's going to do something she's going to feel a little exotic with. Because, you know, she likes the, the exotic. There's Gary. She needs to have her names now. She's got her names now. Okay, so now let's see what else I need to pick up. Okay, Ani, Jasmine Wiss. I got, okay, I got Rose Rouge out. Rose Rouge. Y'all know I love this thing. Rose Rouge is a more inexpensive Parfait de Roses. So if you were looking at Lancome's Parfait de Roses, you can just get you some Rose Rouge and call it a day. Just get you some of that. Don't drive yourself crazy. Oh, I do have Girl Now out. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're going all together. So we're going to do Rose Rouge by Van Cleef and Arpels. This is like kind of like powdery. It's a sweet rose. It's got a little cacao in it, so it's got a little dry. So it's a little dry. It's not super juicy like Rose's Vanilla. It's a drier, sweet rose. Really gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn. Whoa. Huh. I might have to run and go get my, my plug. I'm a if I could find it one day, it was I did it on Facebook. I'm gonna have to like sc like screen record it. But after um she did that, I did a whole like semi-parody on it. Like I was like, I am no longer Lulu. I am Petrovic. I am, you know, like <laughs> my name is Petra. I I I am now like Ukrainian or some shit I said. Cause I'm gonna start identifying. What if you okay, if you're gonna identify, what would you identify as? <laughs> I'm so ignorant. It's like, what you go identify as? <laughs> Even though I ain't identifying as shit but a black woman. Unless, of course, you're the person who fought me and said I wasn't black. The woman who told me I was biracial. You got mad. But your father's white. I said my father could pass for white. I did not say he was white. Them words never came from my mouth about my daddy. Okay, so now thank y'all for helping me. So the giveaway for it in listen, I'm about to <laughs> I'm telling you, Rachel Dozal is going to change her whole look. I'm telling you, she's going to be like, she's going to be Indian soon. She's going to be moving over to India. She's going to be trying to be the Indian experience here in America. Because she is not done with us. She is not done. She just, don't worry, I'm about to identify something else. You got to admire her, though, for it. You know, I'm like, wow, you just you just came up with that shit, huh? He was like, yep. Yeah, I think I'm going to be black today. <laughs> Shoot, everybody talking about gender ain't a construct. Let's, let's get rid of race then. Let's get rid of race. We all that. But the MAGA people would be mad. Oh, you know, I got a new name for the MAGA people. You know, I was Make America Great Again. Make America goofy again, cause them some goofy motherfuckers. See, that's what I'm saying. Identify as a poodle. You know, you know. Ooh, Christy, don't get me started on that, cause I know people who actually do identify as, you know, that's called being a furry. But that's another whole conversation. That's for my uh, channel members, cause I don't want to get, I don't want to get in trouble. But I do know, I know a lot of cat people. I'm just saying. I do know some people who identify as those. I'm just, I'm just saying. 
just putting it out there. So they 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 do do some identifying and stuff. I do know a wealth of people. Trust me. In life, you should know different people. What you know. I respect everybody's um, right to be whatever they want to be. I have a friend who she likes being a cat. Calls herself Kitty. Don't 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 hit the don't hate the messenger. Rose Rouge. Okay, so we did that one. So what else do I have out here that I'm doing? Okay. Uh, I need to go get my, uh, I'm going to have to run and get my charger in a minute. So I'll be back. Because we ain't, you know, we still here. We still doing it. We still doing it. Rose Rouge. Oh, that's Rose's mask. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven. Okay. Uh, White Patchouli by Tom Ford. Just got this one recently. See that? Uh, yeah, okay, right? You just, like, you know, you just come up. And, and here's the thing about good pets, pets that have good lives. Think about it. They just walk up to us and we do what they ask us to. They come up and they and they meow at us and we go, what you want? We be like, okay. And then we go get it. So that is a really good life if you think about it. It's a really good life. So time for white patchouli. I actually like this one. It's uh I I don't even know how to say what it is, but it's very, it's kind of it's a nice patchouli. It's got a sweetness to it. It's really decent. This was a swap. So I swapped out, what did I swap? Coco by Chanel. Because it just wasn't doing it for me no more. I wanted to love her again like I did in my youth, but no, I didn't. I was like, she stank. She smelled like hair grease on me. She smelled like No, a lot of people don't know what furries are. You just got to roll. If you roll in the, the circles I roll in, you just know about these things. Um, yeah. That's what they call themselves. Not everybody need, knows those things. I'm just that crazy chick who knows that kind of stuff. I'm like, you do what? Oh, Okay. I am trying to get a crow's foot, but that's okay because I'm about to go on and start doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm losing people. Y'all getting tired? And I, I think we've gone through quite a few. I don't, but it was a swap and I said, let me try it out. I'm not a fan of Tom Ford. We know I'm not, but I swapped it out and that was the best thing she had to swap it with. Actually, I should have gone with something else, but I wasn't thinking. So, no, no, you're not mistaken. I'm not a Tom Ford fan. <laughs> not at all. This is only the second Tom Ford I have. I have Jasmine Rouge, which I love. And now I have this one. And this is nice. You know, I don't like black orchid because it smells like baby aspirin. So, no, I'm not a Tom Ford fan. And I never, and I'm probably never. Never gonna be one. Never gonna be one. I'm just, just sing it out for the invo version of it. Never gonna do it. Never gonna do it. Okay. <sighs> Why do y'all let me go on? Okay, let me keep going. I think I have. Uh, see. Yes, always. Let me tell you something. I'm always a, I'm a wealth of information of, of creepy shit. Maybe you don't want to know. 
when it comes to that, that's what we talk about on the member side. You you learn about all kind of stuff on my member side. It's child. Oh man. It smells like hair grease on you. That's what cocoa smells like on me. Cocoa smells like hair grease. So that's why I got rid of it. Because I was like, ugh. This stank. I was like, no, ma'am, I don't like these. I don't like these. I don't like these at all. Well, I'm going to. There is a point. <laughs> there is a point. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pull out everything. I'm probably going to uh, stop decanting for a few because it is getting real serious up in here. But I'm going to show you all the other ones I'm decanting. We're going to talk about them for a minute. But let me go get my uh, charge. I'm going to keep decanting for a little bit, but then I'm going to uh, slow down. Just give myself a break because this room is. Um, I know when I'm done too much because I, I my max is two hours and I'm hitting two hours now. Is I start tasting fra fragrances in my mouth, so it's like okay, but you do it too much. You do it too much. So then I have to air the room out for a little bit and then I come back and finish because I I've done quite a bit though. So <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do a few more and then I'm going to pull out everything else I need. Tell y'all what I'm decanting. And then, you know, some of y'all need to just go and order y'all in decants. If you're thinking about ordering, um, you just have to hit me up on IG or send me a message. Or send me an email. So you can send me an email or you can send me something on IG. Actually, though, I think my, my email is on here right now. Come to think of it because I did this. Come to think of it, because I did this, it is on here. So yeah, white patchouli. Take that off of her list. Okay, and then this is right here. Okay. And I'm giving it. Then I'm uh, how many did I fill? Um, I don't know, child. Let me see how many did I feel. Okay, this is four, seven, eight, nine, twelve, seventeen, nineteen. So I want to get through a few more, and then I'll take a break. So nineteen so far. And we're gonna do ooh for glory, right quick. And this is the Latafo. Uh, initio thing. This is that uh, you know Latafa. Latafa saying we coming for you. We're coming for you. We're coming for you with our little Initio. Fuck you. You try and do ooh. We gonna show you because we Arabian. We gonna show you. We gonna take your shit and fi fix it. We gonna fix it. We gonna make it ours and make it look just like your bottle. So ain't nobody confused on what we do up on what we don't doing. And then we're going to charge hardly any money to show you that it really don't cost that much. That's what they do. And they like, ah, psych your mind, booty shine. Y'all spending $200. We could make this for 30 70 at the most. You're like, now what? Now what? So I'm doing like 40 something. So I'm going to do half. And then I'm going to do the rest. And I'm going to uh, take a break. Because I need because I need to go out to UPS. And pick up some stuff. Some packages. So when I go there. Then I, I want to be ready to send these all off. Because I'm going to go to the main post office. Because here in Chicago. The main post office is open on Sundays. So I can drop it off there. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
I know one thing. I probably couldn't. Ooh, I feel for these people who be working with these all day. They hair must be like pounding a lot. Yeah, but ooh for glory. It's I really like it. Um, it's just it's a sweet, pretty oud. It's a sweet little spicy oud. Um, so if you like that kind of vibe, ooh for glory is a good move. Matapa food for glory. Also, oh, people leaving. They like we ain't got. We don't want to watch you anymore. I'm down to fourteen people. Uh, see you later. Um, how can you, it says join? If you look on the videos, Pat, you'll see next to subscribe. You'll see join. And that's how you join the member. That's how you become a member of my channel. And just hit that join button. And uh, and uh, um, until Monday, the decan special is until Monday. You know, for Cyber Monday. You have a great day, Pat. See you later. So we got the top of right here. Let's all right now i'm gonna pull the stuff i'm gonna let y'all see them we'll talk about what they're getting and then you'll see if you want some um but first let me go get my charger because yeah i'm about to die so let me get my charger talk amongst yourself Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Ooh, my room smells. Ooh, this room smells. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down. Uh, I'm organized? Not really. I fake organization. I'm working on becoming more organized and we don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon. But we working on, oh, there it is. Okay, so let me plug this in. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we're getting. I'm a roll because quite frankly, I have all my house leggings and you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make this, you know, Y'all know what the house legs look like. <laughs> They're kind of see-through. Okay, let me see what I'm getting. So we're gonna roll them around, pick up some stuff. Here, yes, 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 yes. 
back over here for a second. Cause baby, we don't need this all this behind out for the world to see. Uh, then we got the Ancha D two girls. Okay. <laughs> this is where I normally am. Hello. Okay. So let's grab some stuff. I won't be doing this roll thing because I'll have my new chair and desk over there. But I said, oh, this is actually my work area for work. But I have an extra table. I have like an L-shaped thing going over here. And it just works for when I'm doing all this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm staying with, well, only thing I want is Jasmine Marzipan, maybe. And they got rid of Oud Ambrosi, so I should have bought it a while ago, but I didn't. So, oh well. So, here are some that I am about to be doing in a little bit. So, I'm going to show y'all some of the ones that people have ordered. I need to get Jasmine Wisp and Phil the Orange and La Bad. Okay. So, here's a few, and then we're going, I'm going to end it. La Ancha D Intense by La Ancha D Intense by Givenchy. Oh, this is such a sexy ass tuberose. Sweet, gorgeous. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Speaking of tuberose, love tuberose by Emma Wage. Mm. This is a classic creamy tuberose. It's this is a, and I'm gonna have to do this soon. This is, you know, money fragrance. This is country club trust fund baby. You know, but this is an older. Trust fund baby, you know she been a, she been she's been trust funding it for the last forty years. Okay, that one. Um, Ani, right here, which is of course the spicy vanilla. It's really, um, it can lean a little masculine, but it's beautiful on the dry down. It's just a really super spicy vanilla. Um, I actually have another bottle coming, so I'm selling off this actual bottle because people really want it. So I found a good deal on it, and um, so I'm getting this one. Oh, I love Magnolia Rosé. Oh, Shanna, Magnolia Rosé is one of my favorites. Um, speaking of Roses Barbaranza, Roses Barbaranza will be going out today. Some people want to try this and you know this is my favorite one one of my favorite jammy jammy ass roses just smells so beautiful um evening rose by aaron y'all sleeping on this one this is a sexy incensey spicy rose oh she's gorgeous um amarude after dark yes ani girl pat i thought you had left us this is ani by nishane um so yeah, I was able to get a good deal on another bottle. So I will, cause I was about done with this. I don't think I was selling any more, but because I was able to get another bottle, I could sell off this bottle and then I'll have my own personal bottle. Um, Amarud After Dark by, um, um, Oud After Dark by Amarud. This is a dark, sexy, broody ass fragrance. This is not for everybody. It's got deep peach plum. And then it dries down. It's got this oud. Oh, it's so freaking good. Oh, I love that shit. Um, I love that one. This is Santal Royal by Guerlain. Um, this is a really pretty. Um, this is this is a boss oud. This is boss fragrance. This is this this says confidence. This says power. This says I'm doing my thing. <laughs> you heard the talking. <laughs> and so I'm I'm about to end it right now. So you be good. Good Girl Gone Bad Au Fresh. And this is the 
this is my favorite of the good girl line it has such a pretty watery note um it still got the uh, you know still got the good girl dna but they removed some of it and gave it like this very watery aquatic kind of vibe perfect this was my summer fragrance y'all see how much i use this was my summer um summer summer fragrance when i got it this is just this screams country club this screams hamptons this screams you going off to you know you know going to um tea at the wrist this is like one of those like springtime sundresses summertime sundresses and you're just wear you know and you just doing your extra fab good girl gone all fresh then chinatown is the last one that i have out the chinatown one which is bond number nine this is another tuberose but this is a very hi nina i'm about to oh i'm about to get off so watch it in a little bit because i've gone through a lot of fragrances today um this is a very um dainty tuberose this is very dainty it's very ladylike very very you know um when you are when you want to smell good, but you don't want, and you want to stand out, but you don't want to be overpowering like a Mancera. This is very dainty. It's very delicate. It's a beautiful tuberose. Love it, love it, love it. Then, um, of course, the Girl of Now. Some people have ordered all of them. So the original Girl of Now, which is that almond pistachio, orange blossom bomb. Hello. The one intense. It's on my way to pick it up so i don't have that one but helen told me i have to buy it so i'm ordering it so i'm getting the one because i don't have any dng i'm not a big dolce and cabana fan but then i read the notes helen told me i need to get it so i'm, I'm ordering it probably later on today so i'll have it next week and then this is um girl and now shine which is just mm, she cute too child she is cute too she cute but it has that um, pear pineapple. Uh, oh, okay, hi, shine like me. Yeah, um, so yeah, I don't have it yet. And then this is Girl Now Shine. This I like, it has that pear pineapple. So it's similar to Girl Now Forever, but this is actually of the two of them, this is my favorite. It's got a little more fruit in it, love it. And then Girl, uh, oh, Nina, if you look, um, two ways, if you look, at the bottom where it says subscribe um that's why that's why i'm getting it anisha because i know it's 35 dollars. i know i'm about this it's in my cart right now i'm just trying to decide what else i want to get besides that so i have that in my cart and then i keep going back and forth on what i'm going to get because i'm going to get two more bottles so three bottles and then next month because i made a little money on my youtube channel i'm gonna splurge my christmas and buy me like an overpriced ass bottle of fragrance an overpriced bottle of fragrance something that i've been looking at i haven't decided though yet but anyway then this is girl of now forever beautiful beautiful fragrance this actually is semi delina ish it's got that tartness because it has the raspberry and the lemon <clears throat> so it kind of plays like the lychee in Delina so it does it is very similar to Delina so if you are interested you didn't you know you ain't trying to spend a coin on Delina girl enough forever is is a good alternative very similar very similar sense even though you know um Delina's rose and everything yes Lyra I'm going back and forth with that one too but there's a couple but I saw something else that's like supposedly like Lyra so I'm gonna try that out so Oh, how to join. Sorry, my bad. So if you look on the page, if you look right underneath this video, you'll see subscribe and you'll see join. Join is how you join the members page. And then if you don't see, if it doesn't show up on there, look in the description and there's a link on how to join. Yeah, because this I did this on my phone. So there's, there should be a link on how to join right there. So that should be right there for you pretty much. I'm pretty sure. I think but yeah that's how you join so it's just it's a simple thing join boom and we will be having and if you join today um because I don't know if you'll see it um we're doing a 
Well, you'll actually be able to see it because it's on the community tab. You'll be able to see that I'm doing an, oh, I gotta, I gotta, oh, thank you. <laughs> Having all kinds of conversations with myself. Two o'clock, we'll be doing a live for members. We're gonna be talking astrology and stuff like that. Probably astrology and men, because <laughs> we like to, you know, and well, men and significant others, because I have a, a little thing about that. Talking about moon signs and how it relates to men and how they relate in relationships. But anyway, anyway, how, anywho, I got to get out of here. I'm gonna finish these up in a little bit, put this stuff away I used already. <sighs> story of my life always putting away perfume put taking out some stuff putting it away taking out some stuff putting it away that's that's the story of my life story of my life but anyway you all have a great morning thank you all for hanging out with me go finish these up right quick in about a couple of hours after my room airs out and i get the taste of food and uh, taste of perfume out my mouth all right thank you all so much see y'all later and do some videos later on i got a lot to do on my plate today okay y'all have a great day bye bye why is my lips eyes looking so puffy <laughs>